students welcome back let's continue with the subject compiler designs so let's see the topic of type checking so what is a type checking in compiler design so where this type checking module will be present okay at what stages the type checking will be considered let's see the topic so a compiler must check the program follows the type rules of the language so whatever the compiler you are taking while it is compiling the program it has to follow the type rules of the language so each language is having their own type rules so based on the type rules the compiler has to be checked so the information about data types is maintained and computed by the compiler that we know that okay so the information about the data types like integer character float all the data types is maintained and computed by the compiler so what's about this type checking the type checking here a type checker is there which is a module a type checker is a module of a compiler so in the compiler you are having one of the module that is a type checker devoted to type checking task which is useful helpful in type checking task type checking task so what are the tasks here so what do you call this task the task here is nothing but the index is allowed only on an array and index must be present so the operator has means a different rules each task the integer means the range has to be in this way and the float means that uh, the value of float will be assigned to the value of uh, floats only like that okay so that is the tasks different tasks if you take indexing so where this indexing concept will be used the indexing concept will be used only for the arrays like that indexing is only for arrays to assign in the array values so that is the tasks different tasks okay so the thing is uh, actually the compiler the information about data types is maintained and computed by the compiler so here in the compiler you are having a type checker module so this type checker module is going to be devoted to type checking tasks so it is maintaining some type checking task what type of task it's going to be maintained so whenever you are using the indexing uh, concept this indexing will be used by only the data types arrays like that so let's see the introduction part of this type checking the type checking may be either a static or dynamic a type checking may be either static or dynamic okay so the static uh, is done at the compile time uh, it is done a static checking is nothing but a compile uh, we can run the static checking is done at compile time whereas uh, dynamic means the dynamic it's done the type checking will be done at runtime done at runtime so these points you have to be remember so type checking static means it is done at the compile time type checking will be done at the compile time and whenever you are taking the dynamic concept the type checking will be done at the run time so if you take the language like pascal and the c type checking is primarily a static the pascal and the c whatever the languages you are using so those languages in the the type checking will be done only at the static position okay and is used to check the correctness of the program before it execution the main purpose of uh, this type checking is uh, it is uh, whether the program is maintained correctly or not everything will be checked before its execution so the static type checking is also useful to determine uh, the amount of memory needed to store the variables okay so let's see the design how to design the type checker the design of a type checker the 
depends on the design of a type checker is depends on what concept so it depends on the syntactic structure syntactic structure of language constructs and the type expressions of language the type expressions of language and uh, the rules for assigning that is the semantic rules the rules for assigning types to construct so these are the steps you have to follow to design the type checker and the, the type checker always depends upon the syntactic and the stru syntactic structure of a language constructor and the type ex expressions of a language that you are using and the rules that is the semantic rules for assigning types to constructor let's see where this position of the type checker in the compiler so exactly uh, where this will be present let's see the position of type checker at compilation so while compiling the program where this type checker module will be present i said it is a module so which is useful to check the program before execution when it is in performing in a static operation okay so the position of the type checker will be Okay, so here this is the flow from one phase to the other phase and here the token, the co token streams are passing from lexical analyzers to the next the syntax tree and this is also in the form of syntax tree and the final you will generate, let's see. So here the token streams that is from lexical analyzers will be sent to the parser. The parser will generate a syntax tree. So whenever uh, the program is converted into the syntax tree, that's the source language is converted in the form of syntax tree, there the type checker will play a role. So by seeing the syntax tree, so whether the mod, uh, each data type is handling the correct variable or not. So the type checker will check. Again, if any modifications are there, it just uh, modify it and again it produces in the form of syntax tree. Now here the intermediate code generation is there. Intermediate code generation. Okay. So after that you will get an intermediate representation intermediate representation okay so this is how uh, this is a tab checker is going to be play a role in the compilation process so it's just take this token streams uh, enter into the parser the parser will generate the syntax tree so after generating the syntax tree the type checker will check uh, whether it is following the syntactic structure of language constructor or not and the type expression it checks the type expressions of the language and it also checks the rules for assigning the types to constructor so this is about the type checking thank you